reckon what you just want to know is what I'm a doing in here. I reckon the reason I'm in here is because I've killed somebody. <laughs> but I reckon what you just want to know is how come me to kill somebody, so I reckon I'll start at the front and tell you. <laughs> I lived out back on my mother and father's place most of my life in a little old shed that my daddy had built for me. <laughs> They didn't too much want me up there in the house with the rest of them. <coughs> so mostly I just sat around out there in the shed looking at the ground. <coughs> I didn't have no floor out there. But I had me a hole dug out to lay down in. A quilt or two to put down there. <coughs> My father was a hard working man most of his life. Not that I can say the same for myself. I mostly just sat around out there in the shed, tinkered around with a lawnmower or two. Went to school off and on from time to time. But the children out there, they were very cruel to me and made quite a bit of sport of me, made fun of me quite a bit. So mostly, I just sat around out there in the shed. My daddy worked down there at the sawmill, down at the planer mill, for an old man named Dixon. But old man Dixon was a very cruel fella. Didn't treat his employees very well, didn't pay them too much of a wage, didn't pay my daddy too much of a wage. Just barely enough to get by on, I reckon. But I reckon he got by all right. <laughs> they used to come out, one or the other of them, Usually my mother feed me pretty regular. <coughs> so I know he made enough to where I could have mustard and biscuit three or four times a week. <coughs> well, old man Dixon, he had a boy. Mm. Name was Jesse Dixon. Jesse was really more cruel than his daddy was. He used to make quite a bit of sport of me. When I was down there at the schoolhouse. Used to take advantage of the little girls there in the neighborhood and all. <coughs> they used to say that my mother was a very pretty woman. They said that quite a bit from time to time when I'd be down there at the schoolhouse. Well, I reckon you want me to get on with it and tell you what happened, so I reckon I'll tell you. I was sitting out there in the shed one evening, not doing too much of nothing, just kind of staring at the wall, and <coughs> waiting on my mother to come out and give me my Bible lesson, you know. <coughs> well, I hear the commotion up there in the house. <coughs> so I run up on the screen down porch to see what is going on. I looked in the window there and I seen my mother laying on the floor that need clothes on. I seen Jesse Dixon laying on top of her. He was having his way with her. Well, I just seen red. I picked up a Kaiser blade that was sitting there by the screen door. Some folks called it a sling blade. I call it a Kaiser blade. Just kind of like a long wood handle, kind of like an axe handle. With a long blade on it, shaped kind of like a banana. <coughs> Sharp on one edge and dull on the other. <coughs> it's what the highway boys used to cut down weeds and whatnot. <coughs> well, I went in there in the house, and I hit Jesse Dixon upside the head with it, knocked him off my mother. I reckon that didn't quite satisfy me. So I hit him again with it in the neck with a sharp edge and just plumb near cut his head off. <coughs> Killed him. My mother, she jumped up in there and started hollering, what'd you kill Jesse for? What'd you kill Jesse for? Well, <coughs> come to find out, I don't reckon my mother minded what Jesse was doing to her. <coughs> I reckon that made me madder than what Jesse made me. So I taken the Kaiser blade. 
Some folks call it a slang blade. I call it a Kaiser blade. Mm. And I hit my mother upside the head with it. Mm. Killed her. Some folks has asked me if you had it to do over again, would you do it the same way? Well, I reckon I would. Mm. Anyhow, they seen fit to put me in here, and here I've been for a great long while. <laughs>